and make sure that everyone mutes their mics if you have any noise. Just so you don't have any background noise. And if you haven't been on our Zooms before, uh, we use the chat if you'd like to ask a question. So you can open that up with the icon on the bottom of your screen. Just let us know in there that if you have a question. And also, if you're getting any messages about not being able to record, and we'll go ahead and get that fixed for you. So we are going to go ahead and get started with Helene St. James from the Detroit Free Press. Detroit, just, uh, what appealed to you about uh, coming to the Detroit Red Wings? Uh, just the opportunity that I presented myself as a player and um, the opportunity of where the organization is going in the current state uh, just appealed to me and I uh, couldn't be more excited to be joining this organization. Did you talk to Steve personally? Did he reach out or how did it come about? No, it was mostly through my agent. Um, obviously, it's stressful a couple of days here making a lot of phone calls, but uh, it came to fruition this morning and uh, I'm happy to have it done now. Thank you. Answer, I think you're muted. Uh, yeah, sorry, sorry about that. Yeah, hi, Troy. Uh, can you just talk a little bit about your type of game, your strengths, what you feel uh, you can bring to this team? Yeah, as a player, I uh, pride myself on my work ethic. Um, I try to lead it by example in practice and even throughout games. I know I'm not the most big guy, but I definitely try to create a for my teammates uh, throughout the process of a 60-minute game. And uh, I definitely feel like I rely on my work ethic and my skating, but uh, there's obviously areas of improvement that I need to improve on. And I'm aware of them. And can you just talk a little bit about those areas that, that you're looking to improve on? Yeah, just uh, boxing out in front, obviously, is one of the bigger ones. Being a smaller guy, I need to find, you know, different leverage points. Um, and then just continuing to support the rush and having a good gap. I think it works both ways offensively and def defensively. Thank you. Our next question is from Brennan Batchelor with Sportsnet. Hey, Stetch, congratulations on the contract. Uh, just sort of talk me through what the last few weeks have been like for you as you sort of come to grips with the fact that you were leaving the Canucks and eventually finding the fit with Detroit. Uh, just staying patient. Uh, it's a long process, and there's a lot of dominoes that fall that you know, create a train reaction throughout free agency and um, just trying to stay patient, having trust in my agent. And um, a lot of it came together this morning. So uh, I'm excited uh, to be part of Detroit. How do you look back on your time in Vancouver now that it's come to an end? Yeah, uh, it's super memorable. Obviously, anytime you can play in your hometown, it's, uh, it's a great experience. Obviously, uh, as a group, we would have wanted to have more success, but on a personal level, I don't have any sour taste, and uh, I definitely met some lifelong friends and some memories that I'll hold with me for, for a long time. And last one for me, did you talk to Alex Biega at all about the fit in Detroit before you made the decision to sign there? I haven't. Um, Bulldog and Gags have both reached out and texted me, so I'll get back to them today at some point. It's been a little hectic right now, so uh, I'm excited to see some familiar faces, though, for sure. Thanks. Congrats again. Thank you. Our next question is from Ted Colfin with the Detroit News. Hi, Troy. Welcome to Detroit. Hey, first off, how not, how good is it to have you with former teams? And all that's got to be a good feeling. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, I talk to I don't talk directly to Alex Biega a lot, but I follow him and his wife on Instagram, so I see their three boys kind of running around, uh, mm -hmm. keeping up to date with them. So I'm excited to see them again. And just talk about coming to Detroit and the fact that it is a rebuilding situation. I mean, obviously, you guys kind of went through that in Vancouver, but you guys are further ahead here at the end. Um, I don't know. I mean, can you relate to what these guys have been going through here lately? Yeah, obviously, there's been some challenging times in my first couple of years here in Vancouver, um, you know, being kind of in the basement of the league. But um, at the end of the day, there's a light at the end of the tunnel, and you just got to stay focused on, you know, what your process is and what your goals are. And, um I think the biggest thing is understanding that it's not going to happen overnight, but it's a process of getting there. So how stressful was it these last couple of days? You kind of alluded to it. I mean, it's kind of free agent market. I mean, was it kind of, you know, pins and needles here the last days? No, nah, I mean, it was stressful, obviously, just taking a lot of different phone calls and kind of seeing where you fit in, in the market and with different lineups and different charts. But um, 
I've had a lot of trust in my agent for a long time now. I've worked with them since I was 16 years old. So um, I was confident that a deal would come to fruition and get done. And that's what happened. Thanks, Troy. Thank you. Our next question is from Max Boltman with The Athletic. Hey, Troy, how you doing? Like which players, which, which type of defense partners have you felt the most comfortable with and felt like you've had the most success with uh, so far in your career? Uh, well, I haven't played with too many different guys. Uh, my Kind of my mainstay partner for four years here in Vancouver is Alex Edler. Uh, I played the most minutes with him out of anybody else. So um, I think he's criminally underrated. I think he's a really good player. Um, he's a good two-way guy that contributes offensively. He was a good to, good shutdown guy. Um, we may have different but I feel that we our games complement each other. So I feel like that's kind of the style of game I like to play as well. And then uh, can you just talk a little bit about the emotions of, of this move? I mean, you, you grew up so close to Vancouver and switching over. I mean, what's kind of the, the emotional blend there between leaving, leaving there and, and kind of the fresh start in Detroit? Uh, for me, I'm just excited to, you know, come to Detroit. I know they're excited to have me and I'm excited to get there. Um, but there's Vancouver. I understand it's a business and, business decisions had to be made and unfortunately I was one of them and uh, at the same time this presented a new opportunity for myself that uh, I'm super excited about awesome thanks Troy thank you um, it looks like that might be all the questions we have for Troy but I just wanted to open up um, since we do have some of the Vancouver media on here um, if you hadn't seen in the chat um, where to submit that you'd like to ask a question feel free to ask one now Okay, cool. No, no problem at all. Troy, thanks. Uh, thanks for doing this. Welcome to Detroit. Yep. Everyone else. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Thanks guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, Troy. Thank you. Thank you.